too. All right, welcome back to another retro cast of our April Showers tournament. In the bottom right, we are going to have the Pink Zerg, Heartland Hitman's Kingslayer. In the bottom left, we're going to have our Teal Terran, Heartland Hitman's Fatal Blur. This is the Platinum bracket of our tournament. And this is, I believe, it's either game two or three. The replays were a little out of order. There's also a replay uh, because we are trying to get everyone casted, get everyone at least a game uh, having been casted through the tournament. We did not quite uh, be able, we were not quite able to get everyone in on the line on the live stream. So we're trying to make up for that now. This is on Whirlwind, which is a scary map against Zerg. Just all these all these bases so very open. Need to put a lot of pressure on early. It's also round one of the uh, of our platinum. If I had failed to mention that. Also, if you are watching this and somehow don't know who we are or where we are, check out HeartlandStarcraft.com. All right, a little chat at the start. By the way, everyone in the tournament was super good manner. I do want to thank everyone again. I don't think we had a single sore loser. Everyone very, very awesome. And you too can be part of the awesomeness if you go to our website and sign up. All right, do have Overlord not scouting out, actually. Just going to chill up here. We'll see some drops. Uh, we'll not see any kind of push to the front, though. And Overlord here, much better suited for spotting those drops that can come in into the main... Uh, was actually talking about something about nice drops as well, so likely going to look to stop those this game. Hatch first into spawning pool, super standard. Standard for fatal as well, getting that gas. And is going for a reaper. That is always exciting. Always a little dangerous too, for people that aren't uh, super on top of their macro. Uh, reaper actually in the middle to lower leagues can do more harm than good. Now you see the pro players are using that. They're getting some great scouting, they're doing a little light harass, and when we as our lower level level selves try and emulate that, uh, all that micro actually can hurt our macro more than we are hurting the Zerg. Drone scout out here. And he's going to be checking the cross positions, but this is not cross spawn only. Reaper coming out, and they're going to pass each other in the night. Neither is going to see the other. Reaper going to the watchtower first. And also heading right across. Neither player finding the other just yet. Now if he had sent this overlord over all the way, he would be arriving about now, and he would be knowing about uh, the turn player's position. And the fact that there is a very fast command center going down on the low ground. Super risky few Zerglings up here can take out that SCV pretty quick, put on some early pressure. Terrans do rely on this on this wall up here for that early safety. Two Zerglings coming out, but that is not enough to actually deal pressure. Probably can't even take out one Marine. A second gas going down for Fatal Blur. We can do some very quick tech. Two barracks and a factory, so probably bioplay. And those Lings are going to scout that early command center, but at this point he's not going to be able to do anything about it. Bunker going up just to make sure that is the case. Two Zerglings coming up again, but uh oh. Might be a bad rally point. Those Zerglings really not doing anything. Spine crawler up at the front. Stop any early shenanigans and pushings. Very fast baneling nest as well from Kingslayer. Now, he's seen that there isn't a super fast early push coming. So that is a very quick baneling nest. Might see some kind of a baneling bust. A drone scouting now. He really wants to see that those marines still have ammunition. Which in fact they do, but he does he is quick enough to save that drone. And more lings coming out. Speed is almost done as well. More lings in production. He's looking to put on some early aggression now that he's seen that fast command center, but Oh, uh, it might be too late. Fatal Blur might have put on too much. Uh, factory, though, does build a reactor and then move off of it to build a tech lab. 
Reactor likely for the starport. That early gas will fuel some early medevacs. But if he knew there were this many Zerglings, he might not have been, might not have been so quick to move that re uh, factory off the reactor. Need some Hellions to actually really hold this off. A tank would be nice as well, but he is not producing one of those right now. Really looking for those fast, fast, fast medevacs from the looks of, the, of things. And another command center. Fatal Blur playing super greedy. And Kingslayer playing super aggressive. This might just outright kill King. I think Fatal thought King would macro up on this map, because this is a map that Zerg loved to macro. So Kingslayer with some mind games here. Instead going for that early aggression. And here comes, there's not even a supply depot wall. Those Banelings don't really even have to bust down anything. They will kill those SCVs. Some huge hits going down. SCVs do escape for now, but there's not much to actually keep this back. Oh, supply drop, supply depots will go down if they even bother to raise. There's nothing actually in here to stop these Banelings. Banelings not getting the biggest hits they can, though. SCVs getting pulled away. Zerglings running rampant. A tank is out, and a Marauder. Marauder not going to be so useful against the Lings running all around here. And there is the GG, the bus from Kingslayer, running over the super greedy build of Fatal Blur. Well done.